very, very hot. I think I know why I started feeling hotter. We got light on the stream. Light the Lantern is great to stream, making me hot back here. Playing against Karna. You know, I really want to see us play against more of the, the out-of-staters. I want to see more out-of-stater combat, but we have to yeah, kill our own to get to him, I guess. Yeah, instead... Instead, we got to see Karna up against Light the Lantern, which is always going to be an exciting set. Just sad that it has to happen. I mean, Winner's Quarters is maybe expected. There's not that. There's two out-of-staters. Mm -hmm. So... Here we go. I, I don't know if I've seen Karna and Light play in recent history, but I know that they do get to practice on a regular basis because of GGEA. Exactly. The Get Good Esports Academy. Now, this matchup uh, is one of those really, really scary matchups for Sheik on dealing with Rage ZSS. Oh Ooh. my gosh, but perfect. In theory, that was just barely, barely killed off the top there. In theory, neutral should be heavily in Sheik's favor. Zero Suit has to short hop to get anything started. Uh, so suddenly needles are way scarier, as well as Sheik's crouch, making it difficult for ZSS to set anything up. Really, really potent for Sheik. Because uh, when you're crouching, it's much easier to time the perfect shield on neutral air. Suddenly that move is not nearly as good, uh, as well as ducking below Zares. And the, all that they can do is raw grab. Sometimes you just duck under grab. It's really difficult for Zero Suit to deal with a Shiku knows when and how to utilize Crouch. That's exactly what we're seeing here from Karna. Utilizing all of Sheik's options, doing everything he can to get those stocks, Ooh. getting out of the boost kick there, unfortunate. But yeah. Lysip with the pickup, tries to catch the jump with the up air, but misses there. You know, with a little more rage, that could have been just a roof off the top, and that could have been a perfect example of why we see... <gasps> Hmm. Some polarization. Oh. Huh? That was weird. Maybe he accidentally held down because he definitely yeah went. held down too early. Hmm. That that's a very difficult timing to do the uh, the beefy up B as it were. With Sheik, you have to hold up and hold down at the like last second so that you know that she's teleporting up mm -hmm. and then not grabbing ledge. It's very difficult. It was a bad spot for Light. Suddenly got a lot better. Lots of rage, but Karna got so much awareness. That set him up really perfectly nice for the up air. Beautiful platform play by Karna to set that up. Exactly. Well. That was really impressive knowledge of what Zero Suit in general wants to do in those situations. Mm -hmm. She'll usually use, instead of a jump or an air dodge, that flip jump to escape a lot of scenarios mm -hmm. because it has that intangibility because uh, it's usually her get out, get out of jail free card. Not in that circumstance. When she starts punishing their escape options is when they start to panic. Yeah. See if this first stock's a bit better for light. Went right back to town and city, which I just don't agree with, especially after a game like that. Smashville, yeah, absolutely is going to be a strong stage for Sheik. She does have those carry off the side combos that are just accented by the platform beautifully. It does, however, still give uh, Zero Suit some options to extend the ladders. Maybe he wanted to test his adaptations more than anything, because sometimes when you change the stage, you can't test your adaptations the same way you want to. Mm -hmm. Definitely makes sense. Always using every opportunity possible to learn. Are right, doing better than that first game? Yeah, that'll do it. Ooh, amazing wow. that he lived. Super good DI there from Karna. I honestly expected the spike hitbox, but I figured even the consolation hitbox would do it. Ooh, missing the grab there on the tech roll. Ooh, trying to hit him with a Simon Belmont. Misses the tip, though. Karna gets back for free with that bouncing fish. I'm actually surprised that bouncing fish connected. That move's hitbox mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Another up smash yep. to take the first stock. But this time, Karna had to work a little bit harder for it. Sitting at 116. Sitting at dangerous percents to a just standard pokes from Zero Suit. Down smash, the back air. Patience, the damage just keeps going. Another up tilt, and the damage doesn't stop. Over on the right side now, Light. Not able to touch the ground in like 10 seconds here. Oh, Ooh, panic was, forward smash. That was a very Light-esque aggressive option. Ooh, oh, not no. catching the cross up. Okay. Up tilt's going to do it. Not enough rage on ZSS to have Sheik pop out yet. Sitting at 85. Has the raid. Karna needs to clean the stock up quick. Oh, and what a neutral to bouncing fish, but it's not going to be taking the stock. Barely outside of the ranges that it's going to work. Wow, going for the needles. Really good adjustment by Light to go low. He hasn't been recovering high since that last kill on the last game, but 
Getting a slow percent here and there. If he gets grabbed, Karna's we'll gonna be looking at a bad spot. Losing needles for pressure. Actually hits the second hit of Bouncing Finch. Light can't even camp for Paralyzer because those needles, again, just oh. put in so much work. This could the be The grab, big. going right for it, somehow gets out. Wow, and gets away with it, though. Tries oh, to go for another one. The yep. risk reward there is so, so huge. Risk is ginormous. Mm -hmm. Could just lose the game outright, assuming that the Sheik is uh, non-committal in their play. Yeah. But the reward for hitting that grab could just be the game. Yeah.